welcome to another edition video and this will be addition with three numbers so now we're going to be adding three numbers before we reached this point we were adding only two numbers now we're adding three numbers and let's get to this one so let's look at some numbers we have two three and one so it's going to be two plus three plus one and what that equal to now you just simply just add these two numbers so these two together is going to equal 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. But we still have this one here. So we're still adding. So we still have the plus, the same plus is here. So we still add in that 1. So 5 plus 1, and that is equal to 6. Oh, I'll use this one. 6. So we have a 2 plus 3 plus 1. And what we do is we add these two first, and we have 5. But we still have this one here. I, I, I wrote it down here. So it's the 5 plus the 1 equals 6. Basically, these two came together. And they made this 5. But we still have this one here. So this is, this is the 1 right here. And then, so it's 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay, let's do another example. So it's going to be a 3 plus 1 plus 4, and what does that equal to? Well, 3 plus 1 is 4. So these together, put some arrows pointing here just to show you that these three this 3 and this 1 combined together gives us this 4. But we still have this 4 out here. So we still add in to this 4. So it's going to be 4 plus 4, which that is equal to 8. So 3 plus 1 together will make this 4. But we still have this 4 hanging out here. I, I rewrote it down here. It's, that's it right there. So 4 plus 4 is 8. And that's it. Let's get another example. Let me do... 2... 3 and... 5. So 2... Plus 3, plus 5, and what does that equal to? Well, 2 plus 3, that is equal to, together, they're going to be 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. But we still add into this other 5 here. So this 5 is over here. And 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So 2 plus 3 together is 5. And we still have this 5 here, so I, I wrote it down here, so we have this 5, and then this 5 that's here, which is this, 
And together, 5 plus 5 is 10. So these two combined together gave us this 5. And we have this 5 hanging around here. So it's going to be 5 plus this, this, this 5, which I just brought it down here. Maybe I'll write an arrow here just to show that this is that. These two together made that, and then this is that, and together it's 10. Now, you may be wondering, does the order matter in this situation? And I'm here to tell you, the order does not matter. Oh, I just accidentally got rid of my five. The order does not matter. Now remember, this answer is 10. I'm just going to write it this time. Now remember, this answer is 10. 2 plus 3 plus 5 is 10. But does the order matter? Does it matter which one we add first? And I'm going to show you that the order doesn't matter because we're adding all these together. So let's say the first thing I wanted to add together was the 3 and the 5. Well, the 3 and the 5, in this case, 3 and the 5 is going to be 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. But then this 2 is still hanging out here, right? So it's going to be this 2 plus the 8. See this 2 right here? It's down here plus the 8. And guess what? 8 plus 2 is, or 2 plus 8, whichever you want to look at it, is also 10. So I got the same answer, and all I did was add these two first, and then I add them to this. And I still got the same answer, just like the previous example. Guess what? I can erase all of this. And decide, hey, I want to add the 5 and 2 first, then the 3. So let's take a look at that. This 5 and this 2 together, 5 plus 2 is 7. And this 3 is still here, so we, we combine this, this 5 and 2, but this, which is 7, plus this 3, so this 3, I'll just bring it down here, 7 plus 3, guess what, is also 10. So, it doesn't matter which one I added first. I still get the answer of 10. Jerry put six balls in the box. Barry put two more balls in the box. Then I put three more balls in the box. How many balls are in the box? So, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many balls are in the box. And what information are we given to help us find this? Well, we're told that Jerry put six balls in the box. And we were told that Barry put two more. And then we were told that I put three more balls in the box. So let's look at this. So Jerry put six balls in the box. Barry put two more balls in the box. And then I put three more balls in the box. So, it's going to be a six plus two plus three. And this will give us the total balls in the box. Because Jerry put six in the box. Barry put six, two, 
Barry put two in the box, and I put three in the box. So all of these will be in the box. So let's do some addition. Well, let me add the Jerry and Barry together. So six plus two. I just drew a little arrows just to indicate that these two are going to combine together. Six plus two is eight. And then so it's going to be that eight plus the three that I put in the box. So eight plus three. And looking at this, 8 plus 3, and 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. So that means there are 11 balls total in the box. Mary has two red books. She has three blue books. She also has four yellow books. How many books does Mary have? What are we trying to find? We are trying to find how many books does Mary have? And what information are we given to help us find this? Well, we're told Mary has two red books. She also has three blue books and also four yellow books. So let's take a look at this. Two red books. She has three blue books and four yellow books. And then it, it says how many books does Mary have? So we're talking about all of them together. And that means we're going to be adding them all together. So I put the plus signs there. So it's going to be two red books plus the three blue books plus the four yellow books. And that will equal the total books that Mary has. All right, so let's just combine and add the books together well i'm going to do these two first these two numbers first two plus three is five okay and then we still have this number left i'll bring it over here which is a four five from that two and three here's a five plus four is equal to nine so that means Mary has nine books in total. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned a lot. Bye.